Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 and I'm continuing here with the Love Scopes readings and this time we're doing Future Love Reading and this reading is for Virgo, Earth Sign, which is my sign, my Sun sign although I have an Aries Moon, so which is fire and I usually resonate more with the fire energy so let's have a look and see what your future love is coming in Virgo so who is Virgo's future love? I hope you're all doing well and you had a really good Easter. So who is Virgo's future love, please? Who is Virgo's future love, if I can speak? Virgo's future love. We've got Nine of Wands energy, so it could be Fire Sign energy. Okay. Knight of Coins energy. So it could be another fellow Earth sign here. Could be somebody younger than you. So it could be another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So will the attraction be instant? Will the attraction be instant here? Remember, this is just a general reading, so just take what resonates. Will the attraction be instant? We've got Page of Cups. Well, it looks like it. Yeah, Page of Cups. It could be love at first sight here. It could be somebody wanting to really move forward in love with you. Okay. Um, so what will the person be like? Can you tell me what this person is like? I feel there's two. It could be a fire sign or a earth sign. That's what I'm feeling. Although it's not a court card there, but it's fire energy. So what is this person like? Take what resonates. We've got six of wands. So there's somebody that likes to succeed. Again, we've got that fire energy. So there could be a fire sign for some of you. We have got that fire energy. Somebody that likes to succeed at what they do. They're used to, you know, achieving. They achieve their goals, basically. So they might be a goal-orientated sort of person. So what challenges would this connection face? What challenges might this connection face? What challenges might this connection face? We've got Six of Swords. So I feel that, you know, the past, you're going to both move away from the past. You know, you could have had, both had past disappointments in love. And I feel that you're both leaving that behind and you're moving forward together here you're leaving it behind so what would help this connection and i think that will if you move, leave leave the past in the past i think that will help this connection so what will help this connection we've got three of coins so working together i feel if you work together in this connection in this relationship you know, you will overcome any challenges because you're the team, you're you're going to work together. So when, where or how might you meet this person? So when, where or how might you meet them? And we will go deeper with these energies. So when, where or how might you meet them? Wow. Well, we've got Ten of Cups, so you could meet them at a wedding. Um, because this is about when or where you might meet them. Okay, so you could be meeting them at someone else's wedding. At a celebration of a wedding. Okay, so let's go a bit deeper. So, your future love, what are they like, Virgo? Future love for Virgo, what are they like? Future love for Virgo. Future love for Virgo. King of Roses. So we've got King of Cups energy here as well. So we could have fire, earth or water. Or it could just be that they're in that energy of being in touch with their emotions, with their feelings. And even though they might not express it, they are feeling, they have that love for you. They're feeling that love. As I said, it looked like it was love at first sight with this Page of Cups energy. Somebody was smitten with you. So will the attraction be instant? I mean, it does look like it to me. 
Will the attraction be instant? We've got the moon. So, yeah, I mean, the moon is about emotions, isn't it? Those deep feelings. So I do think this person is going to really, you know, be shocked maybe at the feelings that they have when they first meet you. So what challenges? What challenges will this connection have? What challenges? What challenges this connection have? We've got eight of shillings, so somebody could be a bit of a workaholic, I feel. Um, this could be one or both of you. You know, you could spend a lot of time working and, you know, on projects and things like that and not actually giving energy to the relationship. So what would help? Well, I feel, you know, giving each other that time to actually work on the relationship, the partnership. You know, don't work so hard. You know, make that time for each other. But let's see... What will help this connection? Yeah, having the strength to say no, maybe, to work and other distractions. To really focus on this connection. To really help build this connection. So, let's go a bit deeper. So, what is your person like? So, we've got possible fire, water, earth. So, let's just get some general characteristics this person because you could meet you know obviously you know it's a lot of people watch this video so it could be all of the above you know for different people so what's your person like got a father figure loving kind caring supportive so he could have children with somebody else maybe or he wants to be a father and he's somebody balanced in their emotions between the masculine and um feminine en energies and somebody could be younger than you as i said they're optimistic and hopeful for the future they're in a really good energy and they're very handsome <laughs> and charming. So someone that f people find very attractive, you know, a lot of people would find them attractive. So let's have a look at when and where or how you might meet them. So when, where or how might Virgo meet this person? So we've got lunch for two, so maybe somebody's going to take you out for lunch. Maybe it's somebody you've met online who's going to ask you out for lunch. We've got community, so maybe it's somebody in your online community or somebody in the general community. Now, you know, people are starting to move around a bit more. You could be meeting somebody in a social event. It could lead to you buying a house together. We've got August, so that looks like a couple on holiday. So you could end up going away with this person. And we've got honeymoon as well. Um, any other timings? So some of you could end up in a commitment with this person and get in a house together. And we've got new year for some of you. So obviously take what resonates. So let's have a look at some more romance messages for Virgo for the next couple of weeks. Messages for Virgo next couple of weeks. Love messages for Virgo. Love messages for Virgo. Love messages for Virgo. What else? We've got make the effort. So I feel this is about make the effort to meet somebody. 
you know, put yourself out there, okay? Connect with people. We've got reconciliation for some of you. So somebody from your past is returning. Um, so obviously it's up to you whether you, you know, you do um, want that. We've got let go of control issues. So don't try and control the situation. Just go with the flow. Heart to heart conversations with somebody. You know, really going to share your inner self, your, your deep feelings and desires. And we've got past life relationships. So... This could be a soulmate with that reconciliation. This could be a soulmate coming in that you've known in a previous lifetime that is coming in. It may not be in this lifetime that you know them. It could be a past lot of time that you knew them. So let's get some other messages for Virgo for the next few weeks, please. We've got just breathe. So, yeah, as a Virgo, <laughs> sometimes we are too much up in our head. So maybe take some time out, do some breath work, some meditation. Just breathe. Just get into your heart space. We've got new vitality. So you've got new vitality coming in. This is the colours of the chakras. So maybe do some chakra work to work on your healing, to revitalise your energy. So there's an opportunity coming in here. So, you know, there's a new opportunity definitely coming in for love. And we've got the crown chakra here. So you could be having an awakening right now. Your crown chakra is opening up and you can be connecting to the divine guidance. And we've got love abounds. So that's beautiful. So, you know, love is out there for you. Definitely. Okay. So let's just get some guidance. Some guidance, please, for Virgo. We've got your dreams need a practical plan. So, yeah, I mean, when you're working with manifesting, manifesta manifestate, manifesting your dreams, obviously it's co-creation with the universe. You need to take some action sometimes. You know to achieve these dreams you know you might need like example for meeting somebody you might need to put yourself out there either online you know connect with people online or go out in the community to meet somebody if you just sit indoors and don't connect with anybody you it's unlikely you're going to meet somebody that way um so just co-create with the universe you know listen to your guidance your intuition as to what steps to take they will guide you if you listen and your crown chakra is opening up so just take in that guidance, connect to your higher self. Okay, Virgo, so there are your messages. Lots of love and blessings. Take care. Bye for now.